Welcome, Wade Bayshance, to the program. Wade is the president of BNI Energy. Hey, Wade, how are you? I'm doing good, Scott. And uh, Wade's going to tell us a little history about uh, about BNI uh, and their coal center mine, and also just kind of uh, walk us through what's uh, what's there. We appreciate that today, Wade. Thank you very much. Sure. The reason this is important is, you know, I mean, there's there's a lot of good people that work for BNI Energy. Go to work today, every day. Uh, they're neighbors of ours. They contribute to the economy. It's wonderful. But I, I encourage people when we have this discussion to think selfishly a little bit about your pocketbook and uh, and and the affordable energy and what that means for for yourself or your business or your employer, and also reliable energy. You know, when we have blizzards and and cold, uh, how important that is. And this is an industry that gives us both affordable and reliable energy. So how does it happen? we got to ask once in a while, and that's why Wade is uh, here to talk about it. So the coal, uh, the, the center mine, BNI Coal Center Mine, let's start there. What A uh, little, little background, a little history there, Wade. Sure. Well, thanks for having me on, Scott, and uh, thanks for all the great work you do uh, reporting on energy. Um, you know, BNI Coal is the, uh, the only native North Dakota mining company uh, still in operations um, in North Dakota today, actually st- was founded uh, back in 1929 up in Noonan, North Dakota, and uh, and uh, opened the Larson Mine um, uh, near Lu- near Noonan, and uh, and then um, opened the center mine here um, near Center, North Dakota, to supply the Milton R. Young Station in uh, 1969, and we've been operating here at the center mine, um, supplying roughly four and a half million tons a year to uh, the Milton R. Young Generating Station, uh, which uh, generates electricity from our lignite, um, which it supplies to uh, eastern North Dakota and uh, northwest uh, Minnesota to its uh, member cooperatives. And so uh, yeah, that's what uh, how we were founded and uh, what we're doing today. And BNI Coal uh, today is a subsidiary of BNI Energy, um, which is uh, headquartered in, in Bismarck. And by the way, that coal sta- that young station you're talking about is right next door. So that's another neat thing about uh, North Dakota is that the power plants are located right at the mouth of the mine, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, all of the uh, North Dakota, essentially all of the lignite is, is burned adja- in, in or consumed in uh, power generating stations that are adjacent to the to the mining operations. And what that does is it uh, creates a, a uh, very um, close relationship between the uh, coal user and the coal producer, which really has uh, enabled uh, the lignite industry member companies to collaborate um, and work very closely on uh, a, a lot of different initiatives. Uh, one that we're currently working on um, is around research and development and finding uh, next generation coal technologies. And, but historically, um, over the life of the industry here in North Dakota, we have worked together differently, much more closely and collaboratively um, between the different coal producers um, and the different coal users Within, of, of um, lignite here in the state because of that, call it mind mouth, long-term relation, kind of captive cu- customer, captive supplier relationship. So how long has uh, BNI been generating electricity and producing coal to make electricity in North Dakota? BNI has been producing coal, uh, like I said, since 1929. Um, we've been producing coal here for electricity generation um, at our center mine operations for, uh, I guess, 47 years now. So... Uh, that's quite the sweep of history, quite the, uh, you know, the impact. Through that time, one thing that always impresses me about your industry, Wade, is R&D, is, you know, billions and billions of dollars pouring back into uh, R&D and uh, ultimately uh, do what you do, you know, cleaner, better, uh, different. Tell me a little bit about some of the things that are happening in that regard now. Yes, uh so, as you know, we've been under significant, call it, uh, regulatory duress, but at the same time, you know, trying to find um, new technological solutions that allow us to use coal, coal cleaner um, with uh, less environmental impact, um, le- lo- lower emissions. Um, so we have a couple of projects that uh, we're currently working on um, that uh, BNI and, and its partners are, are collaborating, uh, industry partners, uh, one of which is... Um, to create a next generation solution uh, for using um, lignite that would allow us to con- continue to build uh, or build new new coal-fired plants that are near zero emissions into the future. And that uh, technology that we're currently working on is called uh, the alum cycle. So we've been partnering with, um, with Basin Electric um, 
and uh, the Energy Environmental Research Center in Grand Forks, um, and working with uh, the U.S. Department of Energy and others to advance that technology, very, very promising technology that would use coal more efficiently um, and uh, produce electricity with uh, near zero emissions, including carbon capture. Okay, and that, uh, that Allen uh, cycle project that you're talking about there, that's something that works now, right? So this is actually working. Is it now a matter of how do you get it to scale up? Wait. Well, it's a uh, it's a uh, emerging technology. Um, so it's uh, there's a plant being built in in Texas that would um, demonstrate the alum cycle. So it's the first uh, demonstration of the technology. So not yet in operation, still under construction, um, and that will be at a demonstration scale. So we're uh, monitoring that very closely. Um, and anticipating that that plant will come online later this year, uh, which will really prove the power cycle. Um, and then it's just a matter of adapting the technology uh, to work with um, our coal um, and scaling it up to a larger size. So that is, is the next step. Very interesting. And uh, I know the North Dakota legislature is looking at uh, some things related to the research and development and the uh, funding that of different projects that uh, have been going on in, in a, in a very interesting uh, collaboration since uh, since the 80s. All those projects fair and okay as far as uh, the legislators are concerned right now? Is the industry happy with the direction that's going? Yes, I think it's, uh, you know, the, our funding initiatives and funding support um, is in a good place. Obviously more challenging for North Dakota this year given the uh, current revenue uh, situation. Um, but I think, uh, you know, we've uh, done a good job of, uh, of communicating uh, the need. Um, the vision, the the, uh, the projects that we're working on, um, and uh, legislators have legislators have been um, you know kind of open and learning and uh, very interested, and, um, and I think they're do, they're working hard to find a way uh, to help us secure a, a future for the uh, for the coal industry here in the state, and um, to this point uh, have been supportive, um, although I certainly don't want to underestimate the. Uh, and call it the, uh, the budget challenges that the state face, faces and our legislature faces this session. Yeah, no, absolutely. That one is uh, it's one it's one of those, a little different than the last uh, couple of sessions, no doubt about that. And everybody watching that closely. Well, fascinating. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wade, anything else you want to share with us about uh, BNI Energy or uh, any of the uh, things uh, the BNI Coal Center Mine is up to today? Yeah, I guess we're also currently working on a uh, another project, which is uh, called Project Tundra, which is a, a technology to uh, retrofit and capture carbon dioxide out of um, a, an existing uh, coal plants. Um, and so that's a, a project that uh, we're you know partnering with Minkota Power on and uh, continuing to uh, you know explore the potential of, of doing that at, at the Young Station here. Um, and there's another. Uh, uh, Research project re- recently uh, announced by the EERC that uh, is looking at uh, sequestration of uh, CO2 or carbon dioxide um, here in North Dakota around the Young Station, around uh, Basin Electric's uh, ABS station. And so, you know, we're, we're really working hard on, on a number of fronts um, and uh, really uh, excited about uh, some of the uh, technolog- technological solutions that uh, we're pursuing. Fascinating. Well, we, we get a little history and a little background, a little refresher on uh, the center mine and all the work that's uh, gone on in all those uh, many decades, but also uh, on three really innovative and interesting ideas about the future as well. So here's a good example of how uh, this industry works. Wade, thanks for the update. Appreciate it very much. Nice uh, conversation today. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Scott. Have a good day. Energy Matters, the president of BNI Energy, Wade Basons, joining us today on the uh, program. Appreciate that very much.